If you'd like to try what we make at Superstition, it's as easy as going to our website, superstitionmeadery.com, clicking on Web Store, and you're shopping. Make sure you follow us on social media because we release new products almost every week, and you might just find your next favorite craft beverage. Cheers. So we're gonna pull a nail on something that I know you've never had before, and I had tried one of these barrels. What we did was we took peanut butter jelly crime and we put it into Toppling Goliath, Morning Delight, Coffee, Maple Vanilla Stout Barrels. Yum. The barrels are amazing. And what I'm trying to decide by doing the sampling, by pulling this, this barrel I haven't had before, is are we gonna go down the PBJC variant line or not? Because the one I tried, the, the peanuts were so subtle that I wouldn't want to call it peanut butter jelly crime aged in this barrel because we would have to, to get more peanuts and, and if we had to put more peanuts into just these two very special barrels, then we got to filter it again and we're gonna, we're gonna lose a lot of the meat. So if, if it's that delicious, we might want to go a different route. So cool. you gonna find out? Yeah, totally. All right. All right, nice sample stream. Great color. Yeah, that is beautiful. I think that'll do us. I'm bringing that with me. Our barrel, Toppling Goliath Morning Delight, it was filled one time by us. Um, so stout barrel, formerly uh, a heavy charred American oak barrel that I believe made bourbon. I think we didn't write it on, but that, that is a bourbon barrel. And we did a coarse filter going in and the notes from the production crew were that the filter didn't work very well that day. Okay. So we're not expecting it to be super bright and clear. And it is so thick and crazy looking that I can kind of see that. Like when you think about peanut butter jelly crime, sometimes it's a little bit clearer, but it's not bad. It's also been sitting in a barrel for a year. So let's see what one year of one of the world's best stouts can do to a blueberry peanut mead. It's crazy. You That's smell a crazy stout. nose, yeah. Yeah. I still get the peanut. You do? Mm-hmm. I do too. Yeah. That is interesting, because in the, in the other one it was like very subdued, but in this you're right, it, you can get it in the nose. Wow. There's a little bit of booziness. Mm, definitely. I don't remember what the ABV of the stout is, but I imagine it's probably similar to the 14% and maybe even a little more than I'm sure. <laughs> ABJ is. Just get a little bit of that, little bit of that ethanol, but it, it serves to balance out this really fruity nose with the peanuts. There's like dried fruit too, like dried blueberries. That's a good call out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because that dried fruit has a concentrated uh, aroma to it versus regular fruit that can be different, but sometimes more pleasing. Yeah, good call. I'm getting, and I don't know if it's from the stout work. I mean, there's chocolate, I think for sure. Yeah. I should say that, but I'm getting um, like an oxidative, like a very pleasant oxidative yeah. nature. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That is big and savory and delicious. Yeah, there's almost, there's that umami peak when mm -hmm. it's a little bit, that's almost like the saltiness of a peanut, but I don't know, can you taste peanuts in there? It's definitely not on the forefront, no. The essence of a peanut is kind of in the mid palate. It's a very nice flavor. Mm -hmm. And hey, that's what happens. I mean, peanuts, kind of like hops and coffee, you can still detect them in a mead that's been aging for a year plus. I don't know how long it was before, you know, we started fermentation till when we got the barrels, it went in the barrels and all, but I mean, a solid year in those barrels. It's one of those special ingredients that's gonna, it's gonna fade away as it starts to integrate. You know what? As I was just swirling and talking that whole time, you got a little bit more peanut in, in that sip. It's there, it's subtle, but it's hiding a little bit. It's really well balanced. Oh, we might have to just stick with peanut butter jelly crime. I know, I kind of went into it thinking it'd be something different, but I yeah. still get that vibe. Yeah, me too. Wow. Well, that's cool. That's why we do this. Yeah. That is delicious. Well, people are going to love it no matter what. 
And when I think about, you know, even FO PBJC, mm -hmm. which was more vanilla forward than this, I mean, mm -hmm. that's another amazing stout from our friends at Bottle Logic. Um, there's definitely some people that are like, they'll, they'll comment, oh, I don't have, you know, the same peanut. Well, it's not supposed to, mm -hmm. you know? It's something new and different. Um, it's working with the magic of this barrel and those stout flavors, and while the peanut kind of goes down, now you've got chocolate. Yeah. And you've got some roastiness in there that, that wasn't there before. And the roastiness goes with peanuts, because obviously roasted peanuts are a thing. So I think all of that works um, between your palate and your brain to create something that's really unique. And that'll probably never happen again. Not because it's not amazing, just because we'll do something else if we are fortunate enough to get those barrels again. And this is, this is a true one-off mm -hmm. meat again, which is always exciting. What's kind of odd about it is I know it's blueberries and peanuts initially, but it kind of tastes like strawberries now. Yeah, well I think, you know, fruit flavors change and evolve, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna work like the, the blueberry and the chocolate might be somehow combining into what may even be chemically identical to some of the things that we get out of a strawberry. Mm -hmm. I get that too. Wow. Well, that's another winner. So, yeah, again, we'll go back to our notes and, and make decisions, but it's cool that we wrote down what we thought about this as we went through the experience in real time. Yep. Cool. Cheers.